Hey everybody, it's Tamika with Scrap the World and it has been forever, it seems like, since I uploaded a video. Well, I've been busy. Um, this past weekend my kids were gone for like 27 hours. Not that I'm counting, but like a whole day and some of the next day. So I was able to catch up on some of the stuff and I know you guys know I've been working on the, um, my craft fair. It's coming up. Not my craft fair, but I'm in a craft fair. And it's December 3rd. So, um, I just want to show y'all some of the stuff that I've been making. And, uh, a lot of these cards and stuff are inspired by so many of you YouTube people. When I'm making so many, I don't have time to think and sketch. So, I just say, oh, it's a good idea. I'm going to try to recreate that for right now. Okay, so, I think you guys have seen this card. So, the things that I'm selling are cards card single cards card sets and mini albums so I'm hoping I just got some ideas from people at work and I'm like well what would you buy because you know this is my first one so anyway you guys you get you guys you guys saw this one and I have another um, vintage one that's like that somewhere around here um, so that's that one this is the little Christmas one I got from um, these little stickers came from Michael's off the dollar bin so I just got some glitter paper from Joann's and just like matted it pop that up on dots and put that on craft paper so just a simple card opens up like that and then here's another one upside down um, it says Merry Christmas and that's on a dot too uh, pop dots uh, Holly Jolly Christmas that I got um, Another one of those stickers. I love those because they come in a pack of four for a dollar. And I bought like all of the ones that they had. Some of these I made sets on. But I got this idea from Stampin' Up. I didn't like it. I made only three. I just didn't like how it was turning out. My Santa Claus was too pink. But uh, this may be like a freebie thing because I just didn't like it. I liked it in the book. I didn't like it when I did it. But anyway, I wanted to show you. This is a Just Because card. I love this. It's so simple. And I'm thinking about making a set of five for those. You know. This is I Love You. I got this from um, some magazine. I forget. I got a magazine in the mail. Huh. I don't know. I don't know where I got that from. But it's similar to the one that's changed the colors up. Used different letters. Put a ribbon on it. it used different words. Um, put a ribbon on it. But same principle. So that's that. Oh, here's some of this. Oh, here. Let it snow love that one this is like ribbon and and what do you call this um so we run through the texture boutique and this is in the set of five so it's like christmas cards for the sophisticated people oh uh, here's that other vintage one i was telling you about that's like it's like this one this lady here but i started buying these boxes but realized in order for me to keep the cost low i have to not buy the boxes so i use the boxes that i had they're in a set of five, and it just says, hey. Like, what's up, girl? Hey, chica. You know, set of five. So tell me what you guys think. Would you buy those? If you weren't already crafters, would you buy that? So here's another one that says friend. Um, so send, I like sending notes to my girlfriends. So hopefully somebody else does, too. This is a set of that um, Christmas one. Um it's another set of that Christmas one. I'm trying to pick out the ones that are not. Here's oh, here's a just because again. I thought that was so super cute, and I have them packaged in just um. <clears throat> excuse me, it's late. In just those little um clear bags, and and then I have a punch a hole and then tied a ribbon. Kind of tried to match it so it can just. Make it look like you're buying something professional. It's another Christmas. And then this one I love. This I only did two sets of this because it took forever to do these. So I did one in red and one in blue. One in red and one in blue because it's like 500 steps, y'all. I mean, you cut the craft paper and then then you then you cut the, the red glitter, the uh, paper behind it. Run it through the texture boutique stitch it onto the white paper and glue that to the craft paper and then you know cut the tag out cut this little part the ribbon you know stamp this color this pop it up on dots it was just too much too much for me I'm only selling these packs for seven fifty or eight dollars I don't know some people say that's too cheap but I mean you can make these at home but then again people aren't crafters I don't know what tell me what y'all think 
So anyway, I was just doing like seven fifty eight bucks. They don't come with envelopes, but that's why I said seven fifty for five cards. That's a good deal because it's less than. I mean, it's less than what you'd buy at Target. So, um, okay, that's it for the cards. Now, Drew Designs. I know you guys know him, young, young, um, young boy who's doing his thing. Fifteen years old. He did this mini album, this paperback mini album, and I'm then fell in love with the idea. So it's so much quicker. So I did one. So this is like my love. I hope you guys can see this. Okay. Am I on frame at least? Okay. This is like my love one. And it says there's only one happiness in life to love and be loved. And I just got some um, butterflies that I um, glossy accented. And those little I am roses buds. I love those flowers. Oh, and I have a, a haul. I'll do that in the next video. Some ribbon rolls. Um, my little Martha Stewart punch. And then <clears throat> open it up, and then I just have that on the inside right there for a picture. And I just kept it simple because, again, I'm selling this. And I was thinking, I don't know, how much do you sell a mini album for? 15 bucks? I mean, it's, it's a lot of work, but I don't know. Anyway, all of them have pull tabs out, and they have this little hypoxy or epoxy bread, like 3D bread. And there's one on each one, so they alternate. And then um, there's a pocket on the inside of the of here. And then you can also stick something here. Like something in there if you needed to. But I left it simple. It was so hard to not decorate this album. So I put little Prima flowers with a little um, Eli bling in the middle. Pockets. They all pretty much look similar. Um, so lots of places to journal and put pictures and then at the end here I just have two tags stuck in this little lace pocket I just ripped that oh okay two tags stuck in this little lace pocket and then this Tim Holtz um, Baroque die so anyway thank you Drew for this paperback mini idea cool idea it does go super fast another one I did I kind of mixed the two Laura following paper trail uh, is uploading her or uploaded a video about her 15 projects or 12 projects before Christmas. I'm looking forward to those. So, I loved her snow idea. She used envelopes. Okay, Laura, so I tried to use the envelopes and it just was a hot mess. I don't know why I can't do an envelope mini. It just, I'm just horrible. Anyway, if I was, if I show y'all this mess that I made, it just was a hot mess. So, it was just, when you bent the envelope to pull the tags out, you can see the two pieces of paper coming up. It just was messy. So, I decided to go back to the Drew paper bag idea since it was quicker, but use your snow idea. So thank you for that. I just put snow time. Um, and then just opens up to um, this thing. Okay, I just learned today how to really, for real, do the Ma Martha Stewart all around the page punch by Roxy first. She had a video out. Hold on, let me check the time really quick. Um... Okay, good. She had a video out um, showing you how to do that because I'm mathematically challenged as well. So anyway, I was so happy that I was able to do the whole thing around the page and it came out perfect. So anyway, thank you, Roxy. So so anyway, here's the paper bag design. And this is from the envelope that I was going to make from Laura's idea, but they actually fit right in here when I said, forget it, I'll just do the paper bag. They fit perfectly right in there. So, And then I just put... a um, Rick Rick Rack ribbon to hide the the um punch punch line <laughs> hide the punch line it's it's late because that was corny so same thing here pockets on the inside I added some random snowflakes that I got from like the Target scrapbooking section um I left it simple left it plain let them do their own thing this that. I used four paper bags. I know Drew uses three. And I used three in this one. But I just felt like that was too small and I was too lazy to go back. So from now on I'll just use four bags. Because I like this length of four this size of four bags. So that's that one. So and they're addicting. Like Laura said, they are addicting. Um so that's that. I did this all this weekend. Here's another one. This idea I got from let me see how I am on time because this does cut me off. Okay, next video.